in the autobiography, he talks about how his son um, had wanted to be treated uh, with a great deal of financial indulgence, a great deal of splendor. Uh, and Franklin says, you got this all wrong. He says, not that I might not give it to you if I had it, but I'm not all that wealthy. I've got enough to support my, myself in comfort for the rest of my life, but I'm not wealthy enough to support both of us in comfort for the rest of our lives. And if it's a choice between me and you, I'm choosing me. And you're going to have to do this on your own. You're gonna, if you want to live that kind of uh, riotous life, you're going to have to figure out how to make it pay. And, uh, and I'm not going to provide for you. So he's got worries about his son and his son's aristocratic proclivities and his aff affinity for luxury long before the revolution, long before the son and the father break. Uh, but I don't think it endears the father to the son that the son throws in with what Franklin thinks of as the aristocrats.